How are you, Andy? You okay? Good, sir. Very good. good. Very good. Do you like that introduction? Well, it's spot on, I thought. Was it true? <laughs> spot on. Because that often controversial, sometimes misunderstood. Um, I'm just an easy-going lad, you know. Yeah, I like to have a bit of fun on the way, and, you know, I think sometimes rugby's taken too seriously, and, you know, you have to enjoy it, and that's, I've always done that, so it's pretty good. <laughs> but sometimes you say exactly what's on your mind. Do you kind of worry about it then and kind of go, oh, man, what did I just come up with? Yeah, well, it's backfired a few times in my career, so uh, <laughs> that's probably, yeah, that's probably the best way to put it, yeah. But with, with all that in mind, some of the antics off field is often kind of, I guess, overshadowed what you've actually achieved on it. You know, 23 Welsh, 20, yeah, 23, 23 yeah. Welsh caps, British Irish Lions, played in a World Cup. Um, how will you look back on your career? Um... If I did it all again, I wouldn't, I wouldn't change it one bit. I'd probably carry on and do it what I've done, so... There's a song there somewhere, isn't there? Well, yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> Close that thing in no, no, I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't change much. I've had a great career and it's, you know, there's a lot of ups and downs in your career and, you know, I've had them, but I've enjoyed it as well, so, you know. Tom, you've played against him, with him. A man you always want on your team, though, right? On and off the field. Don't change him. Don't <laughs> change him. You won't be Andy Powell otherwise. Um, yeah, <clears throat> just an incredible athlete. Burst onto the scene, didn't you? In, 2008 Man of the Match performance against South Africa. Standard. Went on from there. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I can actually believe 11 clubs you've played for. That's quite a lot throughout your career. Newport, Llandovery, back to Newport, Bezier, Leicester, Llanelli, Scarless, Cardiff Blues, Wasp Sale, Newport Gwen Dragons, and now Merthyr. Yeah. So of all those clubs, is there one that kind of closest to your heart or um, you enjoyed the period more than any other i don't know i don't know i've enjoyed it every club but i'd probably say cardiff was good because i had my first cap i played some good mm. rugby there and you know i enjoyed coming to london playing for wasps that was a great club and you know sale was a good club as well so yeah pretty pretty special okay um okay so let's talk merthyr then merthyr i keep on wanting to say merthyr which is merthyr of course in welsh because matt said um championship club um it's been, a lot of money's being piled into that championship club at the moment. Are you enjoying your time there? Because you were their big signing in the summer to help on bring the lads <laughs> on. Is true? Are you enjoying oh, yourself? Yeah, I'm enjoying it. You know, it's tra trained twice a week for an hour. Well, an hour. <laughs> so I haven't touched a weight for about 20 weeks. I'm going to tell you, it's, it's just great. But I tell you, my body, my body feels fresh. You know, I think over the career I've had, which is 17 years professional, you know, your body gets really tired and... Now I just feel fresh and it's, you know, a great bunch of lads and, you know, thoroughly enjoying it. We'll be, we'll be talking a bit more about grassroots rugby in Wales a little bit later, but w in your opinion, is it alive and strong from your experiences with Merthyr? Yeah, I think, you know, you know, different age groups. I think it's, you know, Merthyr's got, you know, a few different youth levels, so it's quite good for all the youngsters coming up through. So I think it's vitally important, I think. OK, right. So you're a dad now. Congratulations. Thank you. To get all respectable. Oh, now no. then. But I'm going to take you back to a couple of years ago when you had a bit of a misunderstanding <coughs> with your wife. Um, it was all over the papers. <laughs> um, and she decided to take it upon herself to put some of your <sighs> much-loved possessions on eBay. Like yeah. your Lions jerseys and your Wales jerseys and a lot of other things. So we kind of felt a little bit sorry for you that you, you, know, you didn't got any of this memorabilia. So, lads, can you bring in some <laughs> memorabilia so Andy can take home with him? <laughs> There you go, mate. Oh, Thank you. Don't drive. Careful, careful, it's not a lion's give team. You the horn. <laughs> As Austin found out, so we've got a nice little picture of Austin. <laughs> <laughs> You'll learn. Oh, mate. Brilliant. <laughs> You've got a straw for him. For that. <laughs> it's not, they're not lion's jerseys, but, you know, you're more than welcome to take them um, back to Wales them. with you on the train tonight. Thank you very much.